RayStation is the industry-leading treatment planning system with support for more modalities, treatment techniques, and machine types than any other TPS. One of our latest additions to the supported machines is CyberKnife in collaboration with Accurate. In this video, we'd like to showcase CyberKnife planning in RayStation. CyberKnife planning in RayStation is very similar to planning for other treatment techniques, such as VMAP. You can access all other advanced features of the RayStation framework, such as our strong patient modeling package, with the deep learning segmentation and the deformal bird registration, as well as the ability to perform combined planning, where CyberKnife can be used in combination with other treatment modalities and techniques. We provide a consistent planning experience disregarding the machine type or treatment technique. The standard workflow for creating a plan is used. CyberKnife is just one of many treatment techniques that can be selected. A vital part of the CyberKnife system is the ability to perform real-time motion synchronization and target tracking. The tracking technique selection is performed by choosing the corresponding motion synchronization technique. And as you can see, RayStation has support for all techniques available for CyberKnife delivery. To create a CyberKnife path, the Add Beam button is pressed. In RayStation, the beam corresponds to the CyberKnife path, and the separate beam directions are represented by segments. CyberKnife is a non-isocentric treatment, and the path isocenter to select is the imaging isocenter that will be used for the delivery. Right here, the collimation type is selected, and as you can see, RayStation has support for all three types, MLC, fixed cones, and the iris cones. And the note set to use for this treatment is selected. So after the path is created, the DRR views can be used to modify the align center. RayStation has views for the two fixed imagers of the CyberKnife system, imager A and imager B. And here we can see the green box displaying the size of the detectors, the imaged area. The align center can be moved directly in the views by using the move setup beam isocenter tool. For one view A or one view B treatments, only one of the imagers can actively track the moving target. To create a PTV to compensate for the motion not possible to track, the create imager specific margin ROI can be used here. Here the target and margins specific to the active imager is selected. And a PTV to cover for the motion not possible to track by the single imager is created. To perform active target tracking, the CyberKnife delivery system needs to know which ROI to track. Depending on motion synchronization technique, the option will differ. For the one view lung synchronization technique shown here, we select the ROI to track, the ITTV covering the target motion, and the spine ROI to be used for the improved DRR quality during delivery. Once all properties for target tracking have been set, we move on to the plan optimization workspace. The optimization follows the standard RayStation workflow, where templates for objective functions and clinical goals can be used. Some tools have been customized for CyberKnife planning. In the Beam Optimization tab, it is possible to control the plan complexity and the delivery time by restricting the maximum number of node positions, beam directions, and segments for the plan. Optimization and dose calculation speed is one of the main priorities for research. For optimization of CyberKnife plans, our proven optimization algorithm has been extended with support to choose the optimal node positions and beam angles for each individual patient. Segment weight optimization is performed for all collimation types. And for MLC plans, this is combined with the powerful direct machine parameter optimization of the leaf positions. We support collapse cone and Monte Carlo dose computations, both for computing final dose and as intermediate dose during optimization.
once the optimization is done, the beam directions can be inspected in the 3D view. It is also possible to study the individual MLC segments for each beam direction, as well as getting an overview of the treatment delivery including the robotic head. Having the ability to plan for all machines in one software makes it quite easy to try out the same plan with different treatment techniques. In RayStation, you can also copy the plan and change from an MLC treatment to an iris treatment. The copied plan will also include all objectives, clinical goals, and other settings for the original plan. For iris and fixed cone treatments, you decide per target which cone size the optimizer should choose from when creating the plan. The optimization starts with many beam directions to explore a large solution space. Gradually, this number is decreased to fulfill the restrictions defined by the user in the beam optimization settings. The Ray Station plan evaluation view can be used to easily compare different plans. Here we select to view a comparison between the IRIS plan and the MLC plan. In the DVH view, solid lines are used for the MLC plan and dotted lines are for the IRIS plan. Also, the dose difference view can be used to compare the plans. Having support for all your treatment machines in one system allows for a very high flexibility during planning. Here we show a case where we have combined VMAT and CyberNAF plan for a two-phase head and neck treatment. The first dual arc VMAT beam set is a 30 fraction integrated boost treatment. And in the second phase we add an additional 10 gray using the cyber knife. The joint planning allows you to easily select and visualize the combined total plan dose, or the individual dose for each phase. When planning for multi-phase treatments, RayStation has the ability to take the dose from the first phase into account when optimizing the boost. You can select per objective if the goal to achieve is for the total plan, typically for organ at risk sparing or as a goal for the individual beam set. In the DVH review, the separate dose contributions from each beam set can be evaluated, as well as the total plan for the combined treatment. If you want to know more about the possibilities of RayStation and support for CyberNight planning, please book a demo with one of my colleagues. Thank you for watching.